All right, so I bought this Shockwave Tactical Torch. Uh, it says it's from Liberty Technologies, but that doesn't really say that anywhere on the website. Um, so as you can see here on the website, that it's a 50% off, supposedly, and it's originally a $60 product, um, and you're getting it for $29.97. I think I ended up paying like $38, including shipping and all that stuff. Um, and as you can see on the site, it makes a lot of promises. It's actually really good marketing. And so I ordered it because I wanted to uh, see if it was actually worth $60. <laughs> so, so here we go. Let's, let's open it up and take a look. So as you can see, it is, uh, when I got the package, it came just like this. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's a little banged up. Looks like somebody, uh, punched it <laughs> here or dropped it. I don't know what happened there. You can see it's ripped on the bottom right here. Didn't, not really super impressed. Look kind of cheap. Let's open it up, take a look. Um, comes with a little instructions here uh, about how to use it. And then it came with this case. Again, really kind of flimsy, cheap feeling. I suppose it wouldn't really, I mean, if I were to see if I can break this. Yeah, so I just, I just ripped this apart. <laughs> really not that good a quality. Um, yeah, see, I just, I just tore it apart. Uh, so pretty cheap case here. Like it's not going to really do anything for you. And then here's the, the actual light itself. So, uh, as you can see it, uh, it says police on it, which is a sign that it was actually designed for the police. Uh, cause the police only use weapons that have the word police on them. So you, you have to flip this switch to on to actually get the taser to work and you have to move this switch up or sorry, down before you can use it. If this switch is turned off and you press the taser button, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So you actually have to switch the turn uh, or turn the switch and turn it on. And then even if you press this here or the flashlight, the taser doesn't go on until you go down to the last setting. And then if you turn it off, it doesn't do it at all. To be honest, I haven't tested the taser. It, it says it's a, a 4.9 uh, million volts, which I'm, I have no idea if that's good or bad. I can tell you, I, I probably wouldn't want to be tased by something that's 4.2, 4.9 million volts. The flashlight is very dim. I took it out with my dog and um, it's 150 lumens, which is barely lights the, the, the street as I'm walking when it's dark. Uh, and so it's a, it's a pretty bad flashlight. In fact, I had to put the flashlight away and use another flashlight because it just wasn't powerful enough. And it's, it's light uh, and it's not too heavy. It is rechargeable, so you can charge it up. There's no charging light to tell how far the, the light has been charged. So you don't really know where or how long the, the light's going to last once you do charge it. I bought it two months ago and it's been sitting in this box here. And as you can see, everything still works okay. But you can find a flashlight almost exactly like this on Amazon for I think about $18. It's definitely not worth $60. If you went to the manufacturer in China, because it's, it's made in China, you can probably get this for six or $7. And uh, this little trigger, as you can see, is almost coming off completely. And I, I, I mean, I haven't really used it that much at all. In fact, it just, it can come off. And when it comes off, you actually have to use tick your finger and manually move it and it's impossible so this little piece comes off really easily that i would probably pay ten dollars for and i have it in my car in case in case i needed it i would not use this as a primary defense weapon if i was walking you know in the park i would not carry this as as like uh, a home defense weapon um because it's not it's not very reliable uh, overall i would say pass on the shockwave tactical flashlight for $30, you can get this uh, on Amazon, something similar for much less, um, save yourself the money. I'll put a link to the landing page so you can actually see what the claims are. They do offer a 90 day warranty, um, but as you can see, I just ripped this totally apart uh, and I dropped this quite a few times on the cement actually, probably about 10 times when I was walking and it still works. So I put it through not the ringer, but and you know I, I I put it through like what you typically 
go through within the first couple of months to see, make sure it works good. And I'm not going to return it, obviously. I'm going to keep it. Um, I might just throw it away, but I wanted to save you the money uh, in case you're thinking of getting this. Uh, I'll put a link to a few other products on Amazon that I think are better, and I uh, hope this was helpful.